Good morning, everyone. It's Penelope, and I'm going to talk about how do I get ready for a tight budget? How do you get ready? What do you need in order to make sure that you can keep your grocery uh, costs down weekly? First of all, I always recommend doing a weekly budget and grocery shop because every week the, the prices change, there's new products on sales, and you can always snatch up those those sale prices and put them in your pantry. But the number one thing I always say is take inventory and organize your pantry and your freezer so you know what you have. Because there are certain things you should always have in your pantry and certain things you should always have in your freezer and things you can add to those very cheaply. Okay, so first things first, I always recommend you always have your sides, your condiments, spices, sauces, your vegetables and fruit, your just-in-case, um, your deals, your basics, and your homemade snacks. Those are kind of like, that's kind of like the basis of a beginner budget. So, your side dishes. Your side dishes normally are potatoes, rice, and pasta. Those are your three sides, your three starches. And I always recommend having fresh potatoes and fresh onions on hand. And I added onions to this because onions are something that you, you add. It's not like you eat them as a vegetable, you eat them as an add. So not only do I recommend having fresh potatoes and onions, but I also recommend having instant potatoes. And if you can afford frozen potatoes, that's great too, like a bag of shoestring potatoes or tater tots or even some of those, um, I can't even think, hash browns. So that's always a good thing to have too. But I always recommend having instant potatoes because you can get them fairly cheap. They last a very long time. You can use them for many other things. You can use them for breading. You can, you can do a lot of things with instant potatoes. Um, so potatoes, fresh, instant, and frozen. Onions, fresh or dried. I always recommend people getting some of the minced onions because if your onions, say your onions were going bad, and you just want that flavor of onions, or you have a kid that don't like onions, dried onions help. So I always recommend having fresh or dried onions. And if your onions are going bad, I always recommend, as they start getting to the end of their life as a shelf stable, chop them up or julienne them or whatever, put them in freezer bags and put them in your freezer because then you're gonna have onions you can add to something really quickly. Say you have a little baggie of chopped onions, you can throw it in your chili or you have some um, julienned onions, you can add it to a stir fry or a fajita. There you go. So when your onions get to the end of their life, chop them up, freeze them, period. The next one is pasta. Pasta um, is very important to have. I always recommend keeping things for a quick spaghetti meal. Always have your spaghetti noodles, always have some sauce on hand because if you get a good ground beef deal, guess what you're gonna have for dinner? You're gonna have some pasta. So if you get your pasta cheap and your pasta sauce cheap, throw it in the cabinet. That's a good stocker. Uh, pasta dishes, such as macaroni and cheese. That's a big thing. You want to keep your macaroni and cheese. If your kids don't like the powdered kind, guess what? Too bad. If you have cream cheese or you have some cottage cheese, you can add that into there, melt it in there a little bit, make it a little creamier. There you go. Um, the pasta dishes, like the north sides, they're either rice or noodles or whatever, those come in handy. Hamburger helper, tuna helper, chicken helper. I always recommend having those on hand because those can come in handy in a pinch. It don't have to be name brand because you're going to doctor it and make it really, really good, right? You know you will. Rice. Learn how to cook rice. Rice is very important. Billions of Asian people cannot be wrong, people. <laughs> rice is awesome. Rice makes a great dish, and it's a little healthier than the others. Um, rice dishes, some of your north sides, um, Uncle Ben's, rice aroni, things like that. Even if it's just getting it on sale and you get a couple, throw them in your cabinet. That's always nice to have. So you always want to look for your, your sales, okay? Now, condiments, spices, and sauces. Always look for the sales. Um, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, salad dressings. Very important. If you get them for 99 cents and you're still below budget, grab two. Um, taco burrito, fajita seasonings, guacamole seasonings, gravy, um, things like that. Always keep your pouches. 
stock up on your pouch seasonings. Your favorite herb spice blends. Always find the one that you like. I like garlic. I keep a lot of garlic. I keep a lot of seasoned salt. Um, I keep a lot of the Weber's and McCormick, McCormick because I do follow their sales. Right now, I believe it is the McCormick that is 99 cents at Kroger, I think. Or is it $1.29? I don't know for sure. I haven't been there. I haven't looked yet. But anyway, there are some of those on sale. Now, at the Dollar General, if you go this weekend on clearance, you can stock up on the Weber's for a dollar. There's a bunch of Weber seasonings at the $1 store, and I just showed you, or the Dollar General, and I just showed you yesterday. Guess what? If you don't get them, I'm getting them. <laughs> okay. So we've already looked at some side dishes, fresh, instant, dried. You want to keep those on hand. I, I just organize your pantry. Condiments, spices, and sauces, very important to have those on hand. Barbecue sauce. Uh, when we were getting barbecue sauce for 49 cents, if you were getting it and stocking it away, guess what? You've got barbecue sauce. You don't have to buy it when it's $2. You got it when it was 49 cents, right? Okay. Veggies and fruits. Very important to always have your canned basics. The basics on your canned fruit are canned vegetables. Get some mixed vegetables, throw them in your cabinet because when there's a good chicken deal and you have some biscuit mix, guess what? You can make chicken and dumplings. Easy. You could even use your chicken gravy packet with a can of mixed vegetables, cut down some chicken, and, and make chicken and dumplings really quickly. Um, I always recommend keeping mixed vegetable, canned mixed vegetables because if you want to make a hearty soup, you've got all your vegetables right there in one can and you don't have to try to open up so many cans. So keeping mixed vegetables on hand I think is important for soups, stews, and chicken and dumplings. Just saying. Um, you want to, you also want to keep frozen vegetables on hand because number one, they're a little healthier and with the steamers, you throw them in the microwave and your vegetables are done. Okay, same way with fruit. Always keep canned fruit on hand, um, applesauce, things like that. So that way you can bump up a bad meal. Say you have hot dogs and baked beans for a meal and you really don't have the vegetable to go with it, put a cup of applesauce or some mixed fruit and you've got a great end and it balances out your meal. Freeze sale fruits and vegetables and I mean that. Say you get strawberries on a really good price, clean them, cut them, put them in freezer bags so that way you have frozen fruits on hand. Um, blueberries, blackberries, I don't know, any kind of fruit that you can do. Um, if you do smoothies, you can even freeze your bananas and use that as the ice part of your smoothie. I do recommend doing smoothies a little bit more. You can also freeze spinach. You just have to make sure you get a lot of the, the juice out of it. So if you get that bag of spinach for a buck, put it in two baggies with a paper towel, freeze it, and then you can add it to whatever you need later. I'm just saying. Um, you're, freeze some vegetables. Um, say you find a really good deal on onions and they're looking a little iffy, chop them, put them up. Here's my thing, and I have tons of them in the freezer, so I don't have to buy them. I am growing some, but when I see three big bell peppers, red, orange, yellow, green, whatever, for 99 cents at Kroger, I snatch them up because I can do two things with them. I can chop the tops and the bottoms off, dice that up, put that in the freezer. I can julienne the rest of the pepper, and I have peppers for fajitas and um, stir fries. So I've always got frozen bell peppers in my freezer. And now I have to walk by because I can't, I can't buy anymore. I'm not allowed. <laughs> so always look for your reduced priced fruits and vegetables at your favorite store. Um, you'll find zucchini. You'll find squash. Um, dice it up, freeze it, and throw it in a stir fry later. Just saying. That's how you do it. So you have your own frozen vegetables. Are you doing? What are you doing? Please. What's going on? Well, no, I don't want to pet you. I wonder what she's doing. She got something in her foot. We'll have to look at that later. Okay. Just in case, there are some things you should have on hand just in case. I recommend having dried or shelf stable milk at all times because. Say you're getting ready to make your macaroni and cheese or you're getting ready to make something 
and you only have enough milk for the kids to have the milk at dinner, you'll have some shelf stable milk. You can use that. You can use a little bit of dried milk. Something else is if you have cottage cheese, you can stir that up really, really good and make the best cornbread you ever made in your life. Just saying. Okay, so your just in cases, you want to have lots of soup. You want to have your your raviolis, your ramen noodles. You want to have those meals up there for that just in case meal. You don't feel like cooking. The kids really want something different that night. You got it, right? Now, the deals that you freeze. When you get cheese, for example, last weekend we got five shredded cheese for 99 cents. You don't have to keep it all in your refrigerator. You can put it in the freezer. So that way you can pull it out as you need it and no one's going to eat it and it's not going to mold. It's not going to go bad. So freeze your cheese. Um, meat. If you find a really good deal on bulk meat, split it up and freeze it. If you find a deal on bread, freeze it. Buns, freeze it repack things and freeze it. I just recommend doing that so that way you have it on hand. The basics. The basics that should be in your pantry are peanut butter, jellies, soups, ramen noodles, jiffy mixes because you can add a jiffy mix cornbread muffin, they're so good, or something like that and you have an end to a meal. It fills them up a little bit more. You have a can of soup and say you don't want to make grilled cheeses throw some of those corn muffins together and you've got a meal or some Hormel chili or some chili that you find on cheap make chili and corn muffins throw some fruit out there and you've got a balanced meal it's quick and easy on the fly and it didn't cost you a whole lot okay homemade snacks this is really important popcorn learn how to make popcorn again my mother made popcorn almost every single night of the week almost every single night she made popcorn in a she had her own little pot and she made her popcorn Learn how to make popcorn. Muffins. Make your muffins. Buy muffin mix. Make some muffins. Those are great to add to your kids' lunches or a breakfast. Cookies. Homemade cookies. Learn how to make homemade cookies. Get the mixes. Whatever. Make cookies instead of buying cookies. It's really, really cheap. And french fries. Learn how to make some french fries. That's a snack. You can make loaded french fries as a, a snack one night on a Saturday or a Sunday when you all have movie night. Why not? So these are some ideas of how to prepare for a budget. And you're like, well, I don't really think you taught me anything. Well, if I didn't teach you anything, the one thing I can tell you is know what you have in your cabinets, know what you need, and then you build your menu up. So, you know, if you always have these things in your cabinets and in your refrigerator and in your freezer, then you know that you don't need that for the next week when you do your groceries. Like this week, chicken is on sale for 88 cents a pound. Um, eight pounds of that, or no, 10 pounds of chicken would be $8.80. That's not even up to the $12.50 on the $25 budget for the protein. You can buy your milk. But you can do different things with chicken. You can make barbecued chicken breasts. You can make fajitas. You can make stir fries. You can make hot legs. You can make herbed chicken. Um, there's so many things you can do. So, yeah, chicken is the meal for the week. Chicken. And one thing I forgot to tell you yesterday was when you buy two of the Johnsonville smoked sausages on the Friday, Saturday, you will you can get a free brown berry package of eight count buns. I'm just saying, I forgot to tell you that. I forgot to tell you about the um, Vaseline freebie. It's $1.99. You have a $2 coupon. I got eight yesterday, but I'm going to show you that when I do my other, my other deal. Um, I'm just going to show you all those deals at the same time, but I did. I went and got eight free Vaseline intensive care lotions. $1.99 if you get the $2 insert. Y'all have a great day. Bye.